Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Robin Jang here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the system control hierarchy. So let's talk about the different block diagram is uh, given here and we will go through each one, one by one. Okay, so let's talk about the system control here. If we talk about the system control hierarchy, then it will have consisting the different different blocks, which are actually listed here, and we will talk about them. The first one is uh, that is the system control. So, which is written here, that is the system control. So, main system control where the equipments are connected, that is talking about this system control is defined here. Now, what it will do? It will provide the PREF, that is the reference power to your master control. So this is the basic control schemes where we have applied and uh, from here the reference power will be uh, will be taken and it is given to the master control. So the, this P reference is kind of the input to the master control and what, it, the, what this master control do this communication to the remote terminal. So it is kind of the main communication uh, part of uh, this uh, hierarchy schemes to remote terminal and that remote terminal it means the far far end of your systems now now it will provide the iref this is the reference current to your system it will divide it into the pole of one control and another is the pole two control so it will be divided into these two components and further these are divided into the vgc what is actually the vgc i'm defining here so look at here that is void what is the vgc so if I am talking about the VGC, this is the wall group control, wall group control. So this wall group control is kind of your thyristor wall. It is talking about where the different types of walls, different walls are. You can say that if we are consist, uh, considering the six pulse thyristor, it will have the six uh, uh, walls uh, uh, connected in which we have seen in the chapter number two. Now we will talk about what uh, the master control actually do. So if we talk about this master control, now this master control is going to be provide, uh, master control is going to provide the bipole, it is kind of the bipole, which we have seen here. So it is actually going to provide the IREF, that is a reference current, and this reference current is going to provide it for the pole 1 control and the pole 2 control. Okay guys, now look at this. So these are located at one of the terminal and is provided with the power order, that is the PREF, that is it is talking about the uh, master control. So the master, what will be the input to the master control? The input to the master control will be the PREF, that is the reference power from the system control. Okay, now it contains the informations. What type of information it contains? Now, look at here. The first information it is going to uh, contain, that is the AC voltage at the converter bus. So your converter side, whatever the AC voltage. So it is going to be provide that information. What is the magnitude value and what is the angle for that also so and what is actually the change in voltage because the voltage regulations can be just at that point also now the second can be just at the dc voltage the second what is the information it is giving at the second that is the dc voltage so now it is actually containing the two types of information one is your ac voltage at the converter bus another is your dc voltage okay now we will move for the another points now if you talk about the master control, so then master control actually transmits the IREF, that is the reference current we have talked about, and what uh, at what point that is the pole units, which provides the firing angle to the individual wall group. That is, it is talking about the VGC, the wall group control. So from the pole unit, from the pole one, pole two, we are having the two poles, and from the pole to the VGC. So what is going to provide it here? That is providing the firing angle. That is, uh, it is specifying that it is providing the value of the alpha here. Okay, guys. Now look at this. It includes the bypass air selection. Now look at the bypass air selection logic. The commutation failure. What is the commutation failure? We will look to that. But uh, you have to remember this is the transfer of the current from one wall to the another wall. And if it is belonging to the same group, a uh, same uh, group uh, or your the same portion group, it means the positive portion and the negative portion. Okay, or you can say the upper uh, commutation portion or the lower commutation portion. Another is the tap changer control, the converter start and the stop, the sequence, the margin, and the switching and the wall protection circuits 
these are the main functions of that now the pole control is having the pole protections this pole uh, control is having the uh, having the pole protection the dc line protection and the optimal converter paralleling and deparalleling the sequences now master control has the bipole includes the functions of the frequency control the power modulations ac voltages and the reactive power control so i hope you have understood all these points thank you so much